Now, from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. Well, last Friday night, we were at the tail end of that severe weather event that featured the moderate to risk. We had those microbursts that did a little bit of damage, but what a difference a week makes. We got rid of all the humidity, the heat, and the rain, and we got some really nice weather here for the final weekend of July, though. Some uncertainty in terms of how many scattered showers we will see on Sunday. But today, our highs generally 80 to 85. Jasper a little cooler at 79, and we'll be a little cooler than this tomorrow as the uh, cooler and less humid air continues to work in from the north here over the next 24 hours. And this pattern is not really going to be changing anytime soon. Now, live first warning Doppler radar is clear. May begin to see spotty showers as early as Sunday morning, but chances will slowly increase as we head through the day on Sunday. And here's a live view from our Fence Pro Skycam I-69 and Lloyd Expressway on the Evansville Newburgh line. A very nice uh, Friday evening underway. With the lower humidity, it's cooling off nicely, down to 72 right now. Dew point is right at 60. That's starting to get into the pleasant range, which we don't get into very often, especially this summer. Winds out of the north helping bring in that pleasant air at about 5 miles per hour. Upper 60s to lower 70s across the area. We're going to wind up somewhere in the low 60s by daybreak tomorrow, which will be about 5 degrees below the average for this time of the year. And we're already about 2 degrees cooler than last night here in Evansville. Tell City, you're 10 degrees cooler than it was 24 hours ago. Carmi, 9 degrees cooler. So that's the trend, and that'll be the case uh, at least through tomorrow. Some high thin clouds moving our way, kind of blowing off the tops of these weakening storms out here in the foothills of the Rockies, where the last of the severe thunderstorm watch is fading away there in southwestern Kansas. The same front that came through here last night with just a few showers produced some severe weather this afternoon up and down the eastern seaboard, at least from Boston down to Richmond. That line is now off uh, the coast and moving into the Atlantic. High pressure building in behind that front settling into the Ohio Valley, and that's going to give us some really nice weather for tomorrow. And then it slowly breaks down Sunday and especially into the early part of next week. So mainly clear overnight, sunshine tomorrow gradually giving way to increasing clouds, a little bit cooler, a little less humid, highs in the lower 80s, and then variable clouds Saturday night. No problems for the evening hours. We'll see temperatures again falling back through the 70s. And by daybreak Sunday morning, we'll be back into the lower 60s. But Sunday will feature more of a mix of sun and clouds across the area. The guidance today was really pulling back on the rain chances. Now, the latest guidance just coming into the Weather Center within the past hour, now increasing those rain chances a bit. You'll notice here on Future Tracker, a few showers at 6 a.m. in southern Illinois, and then a batch tracks across our northern counties late Sunday morning into the early afternoon. This is the warm front moving through, and the models really haven't been agreeable in terms of how much activity will form along that front. But we could see something in the morning. Better chances all day long for rain will be north and west of Evansville. Otherwise, we'll have some sun, a little more humid, but it will be tolerable. Low 80s for the high. And then a few more showers later in the day. And as we head into Monday morning, we see a little more cloud cover. But it looks like just some scattered showers and thunder showers during the day. The higher chances of rain will probably hold off until Monday night or into Tuesday. So mainly clear overnight. Tonight, 60 to 64. Then tomorrow, sunshine gradually giving way to increasing clouds. A pleasantly warm high in the lower 80s. And we'll keep the temperature in the lower 80s Sunday. Just a little more humidity. A few scattered showers and thunder showers mixing with some sun. Humidity is back Monday, Tuesday, but the highs only 81. Higher chances of rain, but this will not be a washout. Scattered showers and thunder showers Monday. Better chances for maybe some steadier rains on Tuesday, maybe even a strong storm, depending on how the front sets up. But that's going to be exiting Tuesday night into Wednesday. That'll take the humidity and the rain with it. And then we finally build back to normal by next Friday as we head into the first weekend of August. But this cooler than normal pattern, certainly nice change of pace. And we need some rain. I think we're certainly going to get it early next week. We might get a little bit Sunday, but it's really going to feel nice out there. And as I mentioned earlier, it's going to feel more like early uh, weekend of September than, than the first or last one, I should say, of July. And I don't want to wish summer away, but no, no. I love that. Yeah, yeah after yeah. all the humidity we've had the first half of the summer, this is a nice change. This is nice. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Wayne. Yeah.